QuickScat, QuickScat far exceeded these design expectations and continued to operate for over a decade before a bearing failure on its antenna motor ended QuickScat's capabilities to determine useful surface wind information on November 23, 2009. QuickScat measured winds in measurement swaths 1,800 km wide centered on the satellite ground track with no nadir gap, such as occurs with fan beam scatterometers such as NSCAT. Because of its wide swath and lack of in-swath gaps, QuickScat was able to collect at least one vector wind measurement over 93% of the world's oceans each day. QuickScat provided measurements of the wind speed and direction referenced to 10 meters above the sea surface at a spatial resolution of 25 kilometers. In addition to measuring surface winds over the ocean, scatterometers such as QuickScat can also provide information on the fractional coverage of sea ice, track large icebergs, differentiate types of ice and snow, and detect the freeze-thaw line in polar regions. QuickScat consists of an active microwave radar that infers surface winds from the roughness of the sea surface based on measurements of radar backscatter cross-section, denoted as Sigma Zero. On July 7, 18 days after takeoff, the scatterometer was turned on and a team of 12 personnel made detailed reviews of function of QuickScat. A month after entering orbit, the team completed the checks, and QuickScat began collecting and transmitting backscatter measurements. QuickScat surface winds were an important tool for analysis and forecasting at the U.S. National Hurricane Center since becoming available in near real time in 2000. QuickScat wind fields were also used as a tool in the analysis and forecasting of extratropical cyclones and maritime weather outside the tropics at the U.S. Ocean Prediction Center and the U.S. National Weather Service. Applications of QuickScat in operational tropical cyclone analysis and forecasting at the National Hurricane Center include identifying and locating the center of tropical cyclones, estimating its intensity, and wind radii analysis, D96C3D193E97.